uh, blood of goats and blood of uh, calves cannot be paid for a uh, blood of human beings. Because according to uh, uh, our understanding, wages for sin is death. So Adam and Eve uh, were supposed to die, completely die. But God had plan B. And even Adam and Eve, they put uh, skin upon them. It means sacrifices already started. First blood was shed before kind killed the angels. Because to continue to live, Adam and Eve, blood needed to be shed on the uh, uh, ground. So they got skin uh, clothes and they were taught sacrifices. And after that, all nations knew what is uh, blood sacrifice. Okay. Yeah, but blood of uh, animals are not sufficient because, because it's uh, animals. So must be a sacrifice to humans, but sacrifice might be perfect. If you sin at least once in your life, you will die for your own sin. Okay. So there must be at least one person who is perfect completely. And there was no nothing like that. So God had a plan to produce such a person. And to produce it, he needed to come himself on the earth like a human being. And Jesus, when he was on the earth, he acted as a human being, mostly, mostly. And, uh, and when he was on the cross, he died as a human being, most like God. And human blood was paid for human sin. And after that, he went to uh, hell, out of hell. And then God said, if you believe in Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross, I will accept you without any deeds, by pure faith. And he promised also, I'll, during, if you believe me, I'll change you. I'll give you new heart, new nature. All, everything what is satanic in our nature will be removed eventually, not now, because the process of salvation is not completed yet. When I come to heaven, uh, all, not my soul and my body will be completely changed, similar to Jesus, So, and I can be capable to be in presence of Holy God. Uh, like Adam and uh, Eve before the fall. But uh, yeah, so it's the major point of Jesus Christ. So the question that I was asking you, I mean, we believe Jesus was a Muslim in the sense that he has this recognition that he has a Lord, a God, that he submits and surrenders to willingly and sincerely and worships that God. When I asked you yes. whether yes. you believe similar things likewise about Christ. The point is, because on the earth, mm. Jesus acted mostly like a human being. He needed to submit himself as a human being to God, to be obedient to him, to the latest point. To the, and the, Otherwise, he couldn't be a sacrifice. And so when you say he submitted as a human being, yeah. did he know that he was other than a human being, more yes, than a human being? What was his understanding that who he was? He, at times you can see that he acted like God. Not action. What did he know or understand who he is? So there's something like what I do, by what I think what I am, right? So what did Jesus think while he was on this earth, who he was? There was plenty of uh, statements of Jesus Christ in the Bible. What does when, he refer? Then you can see, for example, he said, I was before Abraham. So Pharisees uh, uh, condemned him. Uh, how can you do this? How can you say this? And etc. And he says, I am before Abraham. And I am, he said many times. And uh, in Hebrew. So what does it mean, I am before Abraham? Yeah. What it does it mean? 
it means that he is God, because the name of God in, in, uh, in Jewish nature is I am. No, no, I when, am. You, when somebody says, like, if I told you, I am before Abraham Lincoln, from my statement, I am before Abraham Lincoln, you would understand that I was before him while he was living, not that I am God. So if he said something like, I am before Abraham, people would have understood that he was before the time of Abraham, not that he was God, because that's what the language implies, right? Why would you say that means, like, I am the prime minister, or I am the king, or I am God? Uh, how, how a human being born oh, just 30 years ago can be before Abraham? Because God can, God can make someone at the very beginning, even before they are born here, like Jeremiah and various others, God formed them, you know, before even the foundation of the world. You know, I'll give you an example. You were in the loins of Adam, even before you came here, thousands of years after, you were already there. God knew you. God knew you. So it doesn't make you God just because you were there already. So when the Pharisees said, how can you meet? How can you say you met Abraham, you're not even 50 years old? You remember that? So they, they didn't understand that he's saying I am God. They understood that you are not thousands of years old. Meaning that you were there at the time of Abraham or even before. You're only 50 years old, not even 50. So, they, so, the, so, the, con, so the context to understand what Christ said and what Christ meant, we have to look at the context. His opponents, the Pharisees, did not understand from that statement that he was God. They understood that he was pre-existent even before or at the time of Abraham. That's what the text says. So now, that doesn't... Many other people were even before. Okay. To give you another example, I'll give you another example. Excuse me. Melchizedek. Melchizedek or Melchizedek. Melchizedek, according to Christian descent, is a Christ. Uh, but, it's not, uh, Christ. but it's not Christ, because the text of the New Testament says Melchizedek, someone who had no father and no mother, no beginning of days, no end of days, but as a priest who was the contemporary of Abraham. Who has no father? Who has no mother? Who was all the time? Who? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Only God. Uh, no, 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 no. Melchizedek, Melchizedek, had no mother, Jesus had a mother. So Jesus is not Melchizedek. According to the very statement that the New Testament writers are telling you, it is, it is an attempt to somehow make Jesus like that, but we now know the Melchizedek was contemporary of Abraham, and Abraham gave him one-tenth. Right, so if you study the New Testament text, you know that this is a separate individual. Jesus is believed by the Christians to be in the model, in the model of this Melchizedek. Not himself, but in the likeness, in that particular order of priesthood. So now we have an individual who was there without any beginning, no father, no mother. That person, according to... Only God has no father, no father. Do you worship Melchizedek? Actually, never said that it was Jesus who appeared. No, it's not Jesus because... No, it's, no, it's not me. Because the Bible in the New Testament writing says he has no father and no mother. We believe that Jesus is God. Okay. As God, he has no mother, no father, no beginning of the end. So... Yeah. So, so you believe Melchizedek, Jesus is that Melchizedek? Yes. Okay. So let me try to understand again. Okay, that's one... Thing you said about what his self-perception was what did he think he was he said before Abraham was, I am doesn't mean he was God what did he say about him and God and that relationship did he say that I am that God that you are worshiping or did he did he say I am been sent by that God what did he actually believe who he was when it comes to talking about God no 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 it's important what Jesus said about himself to understand who he is, not what... He said, I am. This is the name of God. I am what? No, no, I am what? I am. When did he say I am? He didn't say I am. No, 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 no. Even a beggar said I am. Do you believe the beggar is God? Many times. So just because... So, no, no, it's not pointless. Did Jesus say 
that you should have. For example, I can say Pharisees recognized they lived at the same time when Jesus and they crucified him because he said, they said, he stated that he is God. They, it, it was their um, verdict. It was a reason for him to be crucified. And you, because, uh, you accept that? They decided that he was God. Okay. But uh, in their understanding, he was a Do liar you... and etc. etc. So Do you accept the understanding is correct? From what from what they saw and understood, everything what he was doing was claiming to be God. Do you accept their understanding is correct? And because they didn't believe it, they crucified him. But do you, do you accept they understood it correctly? But they and other people see that he was not all of them, of course, they saw that he's really a okay. God. Let me tell you what I understand and tell me if I'm wrong. I see that the, the same people saw Jesus as a madman, demon possessed. That's what the Bible says. Yes, of course. Right. Of course. And you accept that, that he was demon possessed? They. Not they. they no, 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 no. Do you no, accept no. it? Just a second. You don't accept? They understood that he, Jesus claimed to be God. No, no, that's I, what I'm asking for. No, no. No. I'm yeah. simply saying. No, just, they, just let me finish. Go ahead. They understood that Jesus claimed to be God, but because they believe that he is demon possessed, madman, they decided to crucify him. So, so they understood he was demon possessed, but you don't take their understanding seriously. I don't understand. Even though they understood Jesus was demon possessed. You don't take their understanding seriously. You say now, I dismiss their understanding. No, and I just, my point is that uh, from what he said, so from What he, did he say? From what he did. What did he do? They understood that he was claiming to be a God okay. in his mind. Uh, let me tell you what you are missing from the New Testament. Um, maybe you see it there, but you don't see it. At one point, the same people came to stone Jesus for blasphemy. Because you mere man, you make yourself equal to God, God, and you know, you're blaspheming. That was the real opportunity for Jesus to say, hear me clearly, I'm not just blaspheming, I am God, that's what you should accept. I'm not just claiming to be God, I am God. Please let me finish. Why should he not correct them he should tell them, of course I am God. That's not a blasphemy. You should worship me and so on. Listen to me, I am God. Instead, instead, do you know how he replied? I've read the passage. Do you remember? Right. He responded, said, for what works? What have I done that you're trying to stone me? That you say I'm blaspheming? And then he responded by saying, look, isn't it written in your law that you are called Elohim and I only said I'm Ben Elyon that you are gods and I said I am a son of God and the scripture cannot be broken I'm paraphrasing the whole story for you so what he did is said look in your scripture in the Torah in the book of Psalms there are passages in which God says to ordinary human beings the judges you are Elohim, sons of the Most High, but you'll die like men. So they know God himself has called those judges as Elohim. Elohim is the name of God, is God. Right, so he said, I didn't say I'm Elohim. I said I'm Ben Elyon, the son of Elyon, meaning son of God. So, no, no, let me, let me, let me make my point, first of all, to understand. So he refuted by saying, I didn't claim to be, a, be God or Elohim. Even if I did, even if I did, that would not be a blasphemy. Point number one. Secondly, I only said I am the son of God. And why did he say that? Because the Jewish people, they believe any righteous person is a son of God. Ephraim is a son of God. David is a son of God and so on and so forth. So, so Jesus refuted them 
in the accusation that he claimed to be God, he, because that was an opportunity for him to make uh, himself if clear. Anyone is son of God, uh, they call themselves son of God, they, but they killed him yeah, yeah. because but, he claimed to be a son of God. Uh, like but that God. is not a claim to divinity. Even if you said, I am a son of God or a daughter of God, if that anyone, doesn't make you God. If anyone is son of God, what's the point to kill him? No, no. because his claim... Well, I'll tell you why they wanted to kill him. Let me just another example. No, no. I'm Russian. Before you go that, why did they want to kill him? Do you know why they wanted to kill him? It's important to understand that point. Because, first of all, it was God's plan. No, no. Why and did the, the Jewish people want to kill him? The was a people uh, who sacred, uh, uh, arranged this sacrifice. No, so no. it was God's plan for Jesus to That's be what you understand that's pay, what you understand uh, he needed to pay the price for our sins so human blood needs to be shed to pay for our sins and jewish nation was a like high priest who's killing uh, uh, sacrifice so it's a first we can come back to this point but the reason they wanted to kill him because he came to destabilize the political order he didn't want these Pharisees and the Sadducees and all these people to go about telling people what to believe, what not to believe. They become like gods on earth in terms of what they're saying to people. He came to tell them the spirit of the Torah. He told them what the Torah says and the spirit behind it that they should follow. At one point, remember, a woman came and says, okay, she should committed adultery, adultery. What did he say? Let anyone who has no sin be the first one to cast the stone to stone her to death. The point is, he was a teacher sent by God to remind them of the Torah, to follow God, obey God and worship God. So, that's why I asked you, what was his... Sorry, sorry, can I, can I make... Uh, he came to two, two more points. To start a new year. Two more points. As he was going about Nazareth or Galilee, whatever area is going, do you know what people thought about who he is? What did people say he was? All kinds. Like? It does matter. It does. It's important. No, no, it's very important. Because if someone is God on earth, people should know that he's God on earth. But instead, when he went around healing the sick, the leper, yeah, the blind, yeah. no, no. What did people say about him? What Peter said about him? No, no, not Peter. Peter. What? Before you go into Peter, what did Peter say? Let's start with Peter. Son of God. It meant, it meant God. No. A son, a son of God, as we have explained. Son of God is everyone. So what please, please. Said, son of God. If Peter said, if Peter said son of God, you know what son of God means. There are many sons of God. The sons of God by the tons in the Bible. But in so, this context, it meant God. Uh, we disagree, but I can tell you. And Thomas said, my God. No, he didn't stop there. He didn't say just my God. He says, my Lord. And my God. Right. Do you know who is. So, anyway, he said no, no, not anyway. Not, not anyway. Every anyway. single. This is a reaction of Thomas. When he went to the people and says, oh, okay, 